Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So after riding a bike uh, for almost a couple hundred miles, uh, I have decided that the stock suspension has to go. I played around with the stock suspension uh, settings, which is uh, practically non-existent. There's only one shock that has a uh, an adjustment, a setup and softest. I uh, made some other changes, but uh, there's, there's definitely no real improvement. Uh, whether it's just the shocks themselves um, or you know my my weight or whatever that is it just uh, they, they're very non-compliant um, and uh, just felt very harsh so after doing a little bit of research I have decided to go with uh, Olin's uh, suspension after talking to some people uh, and doing some research on the Olin's website I have decided to go with a specific type the HD776 and a specific spring type for again for my weight and the type of riding that I do. Um, you know, I mostly ride solo. Uh, I don't bring tons of luggage with me, so I'm not planning to bring tons of luggage as well. So, based on that uh, and based on Olin's recommendations, uh, the spring size is number 26. There's a long number in front of it, but basically it ends with a 26. Again, according to uh, Olin's configurator uh, and all the numbers that I put in based based on that. So let's go ahead quickly take a look what's in the box and install it on the bike. Alright guys, here they are. Alright, quickly. We got our manual. Well, I should say install instruction. Uh, we have four washers. Um, we have, I'm sorry, four washers, four sleeves. An adjuster tool. I should say preload adjuster tool and so here are the coilovers right on the spring you it'll give you the number that's the number 26 that I was telling you about again according to uh, on this configurator they make it super simple adjusting these uh, is pretty straightforward and on tells you everything that you need to do but basically uh, first thing that needs to be done is you need to adjust a preload that typically what uh, they come from the factory already set up properly but uh, again it's always good to double check uh, same thing goes for the rebound rebound is uh, 20 clicks out comes preset from the factory that's sort of a, a standard uh, middle ground for 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 the adjustment and they tell you start with that and then um, make the adjustments accordingly you know uh, you know up for a little bit harder and uh, and and lower for 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 a softer ride. So um, now, according to the configurator, my uh, my setting between this line here, hopefully you can see that, and uh, the adjuster uh, ring is 18 millimeters. So I'm gonna go and measure both. Make sure they are within the spec. If not, make make small adjustments. And that's basically it. I'm gonna keep 20 right now as it is from the factory and, and ride it for a little while just to see how it feels. If I need to make adjustments later, I'll, I'll do that. But for now, I'm gonna keep the rebound as it is. I'm just gonna set the preload and uh, get him set up on the bike. All right, taking a look at the first one. And we are right around 18 millimeters, 18 and a quarter, but again, it's a quarter of a millimeter. It's really not gonna make any difference. Second one, the same, exactly the same. In fact, 18 and a quarter millimeters. So we're perfect, perfectly set up and ready for the install. One other thing, guys, that I forgot to mention, these are 12 inch um, shocks. So quickly measuring from um, center of an eye to a center of an eye, it's exactly 12 inches. And I'm gonna do a quick comparison versus the stock one. I believe the unloaded stock is about 12 and a half, uh, but I will double check it and you will see it in a few minutes. All right guys, so the bags are off. Uh, before lifting the bike, I am going to loosen all four bolts just to make things easier. One, I don't wanna do, deal with it once the bike is in the air. And uh, then we're going to start removing the shocks.
Hey right, guys, uh, take a look at the difference between the stock shock and the Olins. Look at these springs on the stock versus the Olins. I mean, it feels like I'm looking at a go-kart spring or something like that. I mean, these things are kind of silly, honestly. Uh, interestingly enough, I thought the stock shock is going to be taller, but it's probably about a quarter of an inch shorter than the Olin. But again, this could be set uh, for, 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 for SAG versus these are, they are what they are. The right side is done. Uh, just uh, tighten it the best you can without, you know, overdoing it since it, the bike is obviously jacked up. Obviously, do not forget your Loctite for the bolts. the shocks are on uh, let me lower the bike tighten everything up put my boots on and get on the bike and see what the sag looks like All right guys, so uh, shocks are installed, um, preload is set uh, according to the, uh, the Olin spec. Uh, as far as the lengths, basically they came out to be pretty much identical to the stock. So I, di I did not gain any extra ground clearance. I'm okay with it, uh, I mean I'm, I'm fairly comfortable. Um, I'm not, if, if I move up towards the tank and stand up, I am fully flat footed. Not that I care uh, that much about that, but uh, there's about still, like if I'm sitting properly, I, I have about a quarter of an inch on each side of my boot, which is, which, which is fine. So <clears throat> now uh, I guess the moment truth is actually riding them and, uh, and see how, how they feel. If I need to make any extra adjustments, I'll do that. First and foremost, obviously follow uh, the Olin's uh, tech specs for the preload. Uh, start with a 20 clicks out for uh, the rebound and then adjust it from there depending on your riding style, riding type, your weight and so on and so forth. Um, before raising the bike, get uh, all the bolts loosened, uh, raise the bike, take the um, stock, uh, stock shocks off. Um, get the new ones on. You may have to uh, raise uh, and drop the bike uh, just a little bit in order to get both bolts in uh, for the coilovers and um, Before putting the bolts in don't forget to use the Loctite obviously as for the torque uh, on the bolts uh, manual states 63 to 70 uh, 75 I believe uh, Foot pounds. So I just set everything to 70 to keep things simple. Yeah, so uh, like I said, the only thing that's left is basically get on the bike and ride it and see how it feels if I need to make any minor uh, adjustments. But uh, overall, I mean, uh, the coilovers look great. Uh, they are substantially better quality than stock, at least from the look standpoint. So, and adjustability, of course. All right, guys, so that will do it for today. I will report back uh, shortly once I uh, ride the bike for a bit and uh, see how they feel. As always, if you liked the video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.